Hi guys, it's Blackie for Shaman's Forge Bushcraft with the second installment of the Southern Woodsman series. Okay, what are we doing today? Tarp maintenance. Now, if you've got a tarp, uh, and you should have at least one tarp of some configuration, it pays real dividends to ever so often have a little maintenance day. Because even though you're taking care of it, even though you're doing your best to make sure that nothing's going bad with it, eventually things happen. That little errant spark or whatever. So, these surplus military tarps that I did in a recent video, I've got like four of them now. So what I'm doing is doing a little bit of maintenance. What I've done is I've took my really good Gorilla duct tape, put it where I can spill it off in small sections, take my knife and cut it into little strips, and cut it into little squares. And then up here on my ridge line of my hammock, I'm just sticking them so I can easily grab them. Now what I'm going to do is I've got a high ridge line set up, and I've got my tarp slung on it. I can go inside of it, looking outward, and see any pinholes in the tarp. Now. A true pinhole probably isn't going to cause me any trouble. If it's slightly larger in diameter, yeah, it may leak. Usually just a true pinhole, mm -mm, it ain't going to do it. you got to do that kind of like by trial and error. But what I'm doing is taking a little square, going underneath, going and looking and finding a hole, sticking it and running my arm up on the outside of it and pressing it, pulling it, tugging the material, making sure that it's fully stuck and I've kind of pulled the material so it's nice and tight underneath that tape and it'll hold a lot better. Now, in my bag over here and in that bag over there, I have, I think, seven tarps that I'm going to be going through today. And it's just simply something you need to do, especially down here in our southern woods. These hardwoods drop sticks fairly often. A hardwood stick bullseyeing into a tarp can poke a little hole. Sparks from a fire. We use wood fires down here. Get a little errant spark ever so often. So it just makes sense to go do a maintenance day. I've come out to the lake, me and Roger have. Our place we like to go and taking a nice leisurely day, slung up my hammock, hang up my packs, hang up my high ridge line and do some tarp maintenance. As I complete each tarp, I'll check all the connections, all the ground lines, everything to that, roll it up tight so I know it's a complete, ready shelter system. Now in my Bushcraft Skills video series, I'm going to be doing one here very shortly about a tarp system, a tarp set, you know, minimum set. Also, I don't know if you can see it or not, my ridge line up here is bright pink. I've started doing that. I went and got, hold on. Went and picked me up a supply of bright pink paracord. Why bright pink? When I measure it out, and I, et cetera, and I make me a ridge line or I make guidelines for a tarp, I know that's what that is. When I reach down to my pack and I pull it out, there's no doubt in my mind that this isn't just an extra piece of paracord that I can now cut up and use. It's got a purpose, so that's my ridge line. Just like my green paracord, I use one thing, and my bright orange paracord goes on to things like the handle of ferrocium rod, onto my knife handles, things like that. So when I see bright orange, it's something really important I don't want to lose. Pink says ridge line, guy line. Just a little trick or tip. Well, guys, I'm Blackie for Shaman's Forge Bushcraft. Wishing you safe journeys. Have a great day, guys.